Hello, Michael. Hello. Hey, Rob. Hey there. Uh, did you participate last time in the mock elections? I did. I well in the first trial elections. I believe there's two sets. Nice. Well, it's good to know somebody in this uh, group has uh, been through the the ringer. <laughs> hey everyone. <clears throat> hey Nas. Hey, good. Doing, hey Nas. Hey. Good. I woke up about a half hour ago, still rubbing my eyes. Yeah, I had to start a fire so there was enough room in this place for me to have a face or enough light. <laughs> Very nice. Come on. You don't back good. So we are waiting for. We had Joe Johnson and Sully Jin, and I think Sully just joined, maybe. Yeah. Hi. Hi. My name is Sully Jin. I'm late. Sorry. Hey, Sully. Hey, Sully. Hi, Sully. Hi. So I'm I trying didn't to see Joe Johnson on the main uh, room, but <clears throat> but I guess we could wait a few minutes just to see if they show. I guess we could talk a little bit about how this is going to go while we're waiting. Uh, for you that uh, you've actually participated fully. So do we just uh, take turns uh, pitching our idea and pick a person? That's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, uh, when we went around the first time it um, in the trial election, it was just that it was everybody took some time to sort of explain um, their interests and where they may see themselves contributing in the EOS community um, and, or, or, you know, anything they want to bring to bear on the, uh, on the group, as far as information goes, like plans or uh, strategies. Yeah. And then, and then it was really informal. And then we, we all went around and then by the end, there's some various conversation. And then by the end, uh, Everyone had a decision, basically. You want to start us off with that, Michael? Uh, oh, sure. Why not? Uh, you know, I uh, I'm actually a, a recent EOS um, uh, follower. My a friend uh, uh, got me back into crypto early in uh, January, and uh, I took a month off work and fell down the rabbit hole uh and settled with this community actually pretty happy i did um i i, I have a pretty um important career i i uh, i work for intel so i don't have a lot of uh, free time to devote to active engagement as far as like outreach and and actively growing the community like some in the eos community very thankful that we do have some that have both the time and energy to do that i think it's a big need and I'm excited for us to fund the things like the bees. Um, I, I don't have any specific funding other than um, uh, I was thinking of having some sort of uh, what would be like, for example, Blanco's, there's a, a Halloween competition to build a uh, one of the, the maps and there's a prize for that. If, if we could, somehow advertise or advocate with the like show that the eos community is engaged in these type of like community activities with eos blockchain technology i think that we can increase uh, my, i guess my interest one of my interests would be increase uh eos distribution um 
so I think that that may be a way to kind of promote a, a new image for EOS and also bring new people in. But that's very minimal, like maybe fifty dollars a month or a hundred, you know, and that would be just for like the prizes. Uh, that's kind of the way I see it. But I'm more interested in actually uh, critical thinking and, uh, you know, opining on the ideas of others and, and helping drive the community from from their ideas and, and be one of the electors just picking, uh, not so much uh, driving day to day. So, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for the intro and welcome to the EOS community. So it's always great to see new faces joining us. Um, <clears throat> Inas, do you want to go next and give us a spiel? Sure. Uh, let me start just, I, I was texting Joe uh, on the Telegram. He couldn't reach also in the main channels. I couldn't reach him. Uh, so, uh, uh, should we start recording or? Uh, I, I think it's like it automatically did. Um, oh. Although if you want to do a redundant recording yeah. and you know how, then definitely just in case. Yeah. Because it made me the Sorry. host since I joined first, I think. So I can allow everyone here to record local files, which I'm doing now. Um, well, I just put it on you and us and I don't know if it'll just make it so everyone can or not. I can't select it on Michael and Sully now. All right. I do uh, have no, I'm doing it on uh, my phone, so maybe it doesn't allow it. Oh, it could be. Yeah. <laughs> well, two of us recording will be good, just in case. Yes. Yep. So I will try to just give a summary about me. Uh, I've been here in NEOS uh, since the start. Uh, and they participate in both uh, mock election, the first and the second one. And to see the progress change, um, one of the toughest year that we had, it is 2021. Uh, and you see the sentiment to start changing and the community start to do the work that's been lacking and instead of just frustrating, uh, which is a good sign for us to move forward. Um, generally speaking, my contribution was uh, uh, focus mainly in uh, Arabian community, and it is my background. Uh, generally speaking, there is not so many people uh, uh, educate people in Arabic, most of whom invest in crypto, either they are speaking in English where they are having their source of information from uh, uh, English source feeder as I am. Uh, but uh, I've noticed that and I joined the bees and I am now the queen bees of uh, the Arabian hives. Uh, and my main focus is to, to at least to deliver the right message rather than just uh, hump and dump and uh, other, uh, uh, it, it just uh, foolishness to, to just to ask the people to, to, to jump in to, into crypto, but you should give them why. Why, basically I'm just answering my reason that I am in here. Why, what I have seen in this community and uh, why I'm still here after all this year. Uh, so this is what I am pursuing. And I'm also, I saw the guys of your support and I'm pursuing even them to support the community uh, in every direction. I don't have a skill set that uh, I can develop the solution and stuff, but sometimes I have ideas. But as of for this election, I don't have formed idea that uh, I can pitch the community to give me the fund to start uh, working on it. But I'm willing to support and uh, collaborate with whomever uh, have an idea. So basically in this election, I'm a voter and I encourage the support of EOSPs. Go ahead, Mike. Hi, right, Mike. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, thanks, Anas. And Great to hear you spreading the message into languages like Arabic um, and, you know, just sticking around and being genuine. So thank you. Um, <clears throat> Sully, would you like to go next now? Yes. That was wrong, yes. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarlitin, and I'm Korean. 
I'm not good in English, so please understand. <laughs> I like. <laughs> um, I feel so honored to join the first Eden Committee election. I'm the very first female Eden member of Korea, and I am so proud of myself. But unfortunately, there are only few female members worldwide. Ever since it started, you must agree with the idea that we need various voice from members to establish better democracy. So what I am going to do first as the representative is invite more female members in Korea. I believe that it's great for Eden to have insight and collective skills of women. But in fact, women are more intuitive towards the world. So it is more difficult for them to access to blockchain ecosystem, which is based on a lot of technologies. I was majored in science education when I was 20s, so that I know how to use simple language to explain complicated things. And that was how I let them invest in EOS. Second, I will let young generation easily access to critical information and run projects to help them use it better. I'm a mother of four children, and what I find while raising them is that they are weak in the society. They don't have enough chance to know about the blockchain about blockchain and NFTs. So I think it's very important to support them with the information they need. I have experience as a co-op member running community in the neighborhood, which was supported by Seoul Metropolitan Government. I learned how to share opinions with other members and collaborate with them. Lastly, I'm doing my MA, which is counseling psychology. And so I have ability to relate to other people's thoughts and attitude to listen to them. Most of all, I have a strong sense of humor, which will lead or lead community toward positive and fun direction. I really hope to work with our community members in a pleasant way. Please vote for me. I'll do my best to bring positive energy to Eden community using my experience. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sally. <clears throat> I love so, it. Thanks, Sully. Sorry, Michael. Oh, no, you're good. Thank you. All right, I'll give you a little spiel now um, so we can continue. So uh, my name's Robert Konsdorf. I've been working with a block producer that I helped co-found called EOS Detroit um, since 2018. So we've been around since the beginning of EOS. Um, I love the promise of the cryptocurrency world. Um, so I've made it my full-time job. And uh, my background's in software engineering. So um, currently what we've done in EOS Detroit, uh, I actually stepped off aside from the company and started an NFT publishing platform called Facings. Um, and EOS Detroit helped fund that. So now we're working on building out a suite of tools for anyone to publish uh, high fidelity NFT campaigns. And um, that's really where my time and energy and focus goes um, as it's a bootstrap startup and uh, we've got a team and it takes time to, or it takes more than the time I have really to um, focus on making sure things are going well there. Uh, where does the overlap come with Eden and EOS? Well, we're looking to integrate the EOS blockchain as a target blockchain that people can publish on. 
we've currently built our uh, MVP on Wax, um, which is very similar to EOS. So a lot of our technology can port to EOS with some specific adjustments. Uh, and that's been the plan all along. So I see that as the way I can contribute to the growth of EOS to create a product that is exists on EOS um, that allows people to do more things with EOS. Um, the philosophy of facings is to be uh, accessible. So uh, we don't want people to have to have tons of blockchain experience to publish on facings. Of course, they'll need to learn a lot about blockchains as they go, most likely, especially when they're choosing which blockchain they want to publish on, what are the merits. Um, but EOS, I think, has a lot of promise uh, in this space. Um, we see the atomic asset standard, which we've built our tech around, is deployed to EOS already. And um, we see that ecosystem starting to grow. So I think that's a great way to bring activity, uh, new users, whether they're collectors or publishers or, uh, you know, casual NFT art fans or gamers. Um, and, you know, if I were to proceed in the election, um, I would pretty much uh, allocate the funds to the blockchain resources needed for our integration. So um, RAM and paying for power ups, basically. Uh, the timeline for that integration isn't definite right now, uh, but we are looking to add EOS pretty much, I would say, by the middle of Q1 2022 at this rate. So um, that's where we're at. And I, I, I know that I can't be a leader in Eden in the capacity that it needs, uh, which I think is closer to a full-time capacity if you're going to uh, move up, you know, towards the top uh, echelon of the vote. Uh, however, um, that is how I would allocate the resources. So um, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> Thanks. Rob, will you elaborate on the uh... Like what is a facing? Yeah, so the company is called Facings and we named it that because uh, it's really simple and straightforward. Um, the front face of a piece of art or the front of an NFT, you can call that a facing. Um, so, so it's like really simple. Um, that's the name of our platform, the Facings platform. Um, we've minted almost a half a million NFTs to date on Wax. Um, the reason we started building there was simply because of the Wax Cloud Wallet, which enabled us to onboard folks uh, more readily. Um, but yeah, the name is really straightforward. You can check out and learn more about us on facings.io. And, uh, you know, we're really excited. I'm really personally excited to see our technology on EOS. So it's going to happen either way. It's not contingent on funding. It's more contingent on time. Yeah, I guess my, my last question would be like, how much funding are you are you all looking for? Like, uh, like, uh, what what would what would meet the needs of uh, the, the project? That's a great question. So <clears throat> we're exploring doing a private equity seed round right now to get um, substantial funding from investors. Uh, however, uh, that's not really our DNA in the sense that EOS Detroit and Facings have been bootstrapped to date. So we're more of a scrappy bootstrapping team. Um, so, you know, we'll very likely be uh, exploring the grants process through Pomelo and the EOS Network Foundation. And uh, honestly, you know, I, I could do a lot with 100K. I could do a lot with 500K. I could do a lot with a million. I could do a lot with 3 million. So it, 
I'm, I'm saying that we're going for 3 million, but we wouldn't go ask a community like EOS for that level of funding um, because it does, you know, we're not there yet. And um, of course uh, that's not needed. That's not the amount needed to build the EOS integration. That's the amount we want to execute our vision over a multi-year time span. Yeah, I so, gotcha. Um, to, yeah. To, to execute, I mean, yeah, any, you know, any, it's, it's tough for me to say, um, like how much it would cost to build, but, you know, something on the order of like 50 K to hundred K would do, would do a lot for us right now. Um, but we're, we're always sort of looking at multiple avenues for, for, uh, where we can get funding and, and also working on producing some revenue ourselves with the existing campaigns or NFT collections that we've brought to market. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. It's complicated, I guess, Michael. No, that's okay. I think uh, what you've stated are, uh, uh, all you're saying is, is that you, you, you're building a platform uh, that, that's going to exist on EOS and you're advocating for resources to help uh, grow the community. Um, uh, it makes sense. Uh, there's what you're, I think, uh, feeling is what may be uh, like a subtle, like feeling of conflict of interest. It's not that at all. It's just, uh, yeah. Or um, yeah, obviously the eating community doesn't have 3 million. And, and when you uh, typically, when you, when you ask for money, you, you never get the full amount, right? So aim for the stars, shoot for the moon and, uh, and maybe you'll end up in the air. Uh, Sully, Jin, do you mind elaborating more on, uh, like, are you asking to advance? Uh, is, are you um, maybe asking for us to advocate for uh, a project that you're working on? I, 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 or could you read your uh, speech again, please? I, uh, I, I, I wanna like digest that more if, if I can. You're muted. Sorry about that. Uh, right. Hi, um, I'm a supporter of <laughs> Sully Jin here. I'm, I'm just using my voice here and I'm her good friend. Could you, could you repeat the question again? So yeah, uh, I was just uh, wondering if it, it does Soli want to uh, continue on as a representative for this group or um, are there certain projects that she's looking for the, the person who advances to advocate for? Uh, she herself wants to be a representative. Okay. I see, okay. 대표가 되고 싶은 건지 아니면 다른 사람의 대리인 건지. And, so, uh, and summary, what is the proposed? Um, proposed? Yeah, the proposal uh, to, to proceed. So uh, what she's looking to fund, uh, like what mm -hmm. I heard, like it is kind of education community or something like this, but I'm not 100% sure. Ah, uh, you um, yeah, could I briefly um, summarize the things that she said earlier? Uh, because there are only a few female members, eight members worldwide. So she wants to expand the female community, first of all. And, and second is that she wants to um, help young generation easily access to critical information, including blockchain and NFTs. And lastly, she has abilities to relate to other people's thoughts and feelings and attitude to listen to them. So she believes in her ability that the 
eating community uh, make make it better and let the community members work together in a pleasant way. That was basically what she said earlier. So she will work for other women and young generation in Eden community because we are relatively in the weak place, weak status. Do you, and, do you uh, Yeah, her? for me it is clear, but uh, how much she is looking uh, for a funding mm. and because like all what she mentioned, it is a good things to pursue. And mm -hmm. uh, like my evaluating factors in two things. First, how much it, it's needed, the amount of money. Mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. second thing, uh, we, uh, mm -hmm. as of now, as of this election, uh, mm -hmm. uh, how this will impact the general public of Eden and EOS in general. Like, uh, as, as you might know, uh, like we are focusing more in uh, developing uh, our community harder in at least in this time frame. So mm -hmm. like the, these two points where I, 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 I think in my evaluation and for a project at least, like uh, if, you, if she could answer these two. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, please give us some time to translate and let her think. Uh, funding mm, sure. Yes, yes. Uh, and, and thank you for translating. Don't like, please, please, yes. Do that. Uh, for understanding. <laughs> and then, the EOS community has a impact on what the EOS community has. And us, uh, while they're, uh, while they're uh, working this out, from your perspective, uh, or at least from my perspective, it sounds like Soli uh, is falling like under like she wants to be like a, a queen or the 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 queen bee for uh, Korea. Am I am I missing something? Is that is that what you were taking there? As far as I know, there is there is actually a Korean hive uh, where they are actually uh, reducing the content and gathering the community in general. Uh, so, uh, uh, see, originally uh, I, I I see it it is an opportunity uh, to everyone uh, to pitch an idea, but I think. Uh, if I win this election or this round, uh, I will uh, support the USBs in this level. Uh, and in the same time, uh, supporting other ideas and going forward. And uh, for Sally, I can support her to get her with the community in the Korean USBs uh, to support uh, that reason. Like, uh, see, I'm not the founder of the USBs as it is, uh, it is for Jesse. And uh, as build the communication between him and me, uh, the plan if we don't reach what we require, like 25K uh, to spend uh, for all the bees, for the, all the 12 hives, uh, if we couldn't reach that amount, this amount will be uh, spent in Pamalo uh, platform where we support the quadratic funding of uh, the EOSBs. Uh, for me, EOSBs has a direct impact as of now. Uh, it will reflect right away. And uh, there is more than 12 languages where it can support. Uh, so I see a good potential for EOSBs to impact in whatever level that it will pursue, even if we reach the first uh, round or the second round. Uh, so I think it is a step in the right direction. Okay. Sully, have you, have you heard about USBs? Hey, sorry, Sully, I muted you earlier, so I can ask you to unmute. Um, um, uh, 
So about the funding that you asked, um, she wants about 10K. And she doesn't want to be a queen bee in Korea. Um, she rather uh, want to connect the um, Korean to Indian community. So expand the Korean Indian community and introduce it into more Korean, especially females. I, I understand, and uh, she she can whenever uh, she can use the resources that USBs do uh, from materials or whatever. The the main goal at the end is to support both EOS and Eden. Uh, this is from my end. Mm. I can, uh, so uh, I think uh, Anas, I, I, I definitely support the bees and uh, I would be interested in some funding uh, flowing that way and I would encourage Sully to uh, look into uh, coordinating uh, with the, the Korean hive um, and, and the Korean hive aligning to allocate resources is, um, and seeking funding that way. Um, and Rob, uh, I think you have a good idea. Uh, I wanna look at your page a little bit more. I apologize if, that I haven't done that in advance. I certainly think that uh, funding, a certain amount of funding can can make its way there, and I, I think Pamela may be a, another uh, resource that uh, the EOS community can leverage to uh, you know extrapolate larger uh, grant money for you. So um, I would advocate for you in the uh, future round. I do not see myself advancing uh, to the final round, nor do I want to. Uh, uh, but I guess if I'm not making it to the final round, then it would be hard to advocate for you at that level. I will continue. I guess at the next round, I would, I would, I would bring up your project um, among the other projects that are mentioned. And um, yeah. Well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, appreciate it. And um, I guess after digesting everyone's platform, um, I feel most drawn to support Enos personally with my vote. Um, and mostly because I see that as funding the bees, which I see could also as Enos, but uh, fund uh, folks like Sully, who if they were to get involved with the Korean hive. So that whole community element is super important. Uh, has been under resourced and underfunded for just community management in general for years. Um, and I know that you can get a lot done with the levels of funding available in e Eden. Whereas, you know, like I said earlier, Michael, for a startup platform that's building like complicated tech, we're going to need probably larger sums of funding and more directed. So this really isn't the forum for that, uh, in my opinion. So um, yeah, I, I think I would vote for Anas here after hearing everyone. But that, that's not to discount your cause at all, Sully. Um, I think that it's a great cause to bring more diversity to the group. And I do totally support that too. So if there's anything I can do to help, um, I'm all about it, looking to in, in expand our breadth of perspective here in Eden. And Sally, if I won your vote, uh, I will personally communicate to you one to one, and uh, I will understand. Uh, I, I will I will dig deeper even what is you're proposing. Maybe uh, uh, I don't understand it hundred uh, percent, so maybe I'm biased a little bit. Uh, 
I, I can see and advocate it in, uh, in the general community to proceed that. And even if we had to submit it in the Pimelo platform, uh, I will make sure that I can support you in that end. Rob, I really value your uh, your opinion there with the uh, the bees. Uh, I, I always wonder uh, how do communities grow uh, from like an abstract perspective. Uh, and I haven't been in the crypto space as long as you, so it's it's nice to have like a it's nice to hear that. I guess that was my perception as well, but I I didn't know if uh, I don't know how successful the, like the community outreach is. Right, me either at this point, but I do see passion and I see multiple people making it uh, something they spend a lot of time on. So um, as far, I think that would be a good ask, Michael, is, hey, ESBs, can you guys provide us monthly metrics on how things are doing uh, or how, you know, your impact? I would just to, to elaborate, there is a... Uh, uh, by a weekly report, and there is the whole financial of how the money will be break down to each scout. So each uh, workers, uh, which they have a, a group of scouts. So these workers will, will report to the queens of their hives and the queen of hives will aggregate that report and translate it to the English hives. So there will be a generic report of what has been going on from all of the community itself. The same way it can go backward there is a post or generic, for example, the Eden community or the foundation announce announcement. It is a general announcement. It can be published and then translated to all of these languages and also produced for all of the community. So it is almost like a two way. Bear in mind, like each workers, they will work uh, within their capacity and with their knowledge of how they will uh, produce the content as they are independent, as long they follow the bees rule, which is uh, there is no uh, insulting other projects, uh, more engaging uh, conversation with the others, start by asking the question itself. Uh, so these ideas is how it will proceed. And the same thing, uh, Jesse will be more responsible on reporting the financial backing and all of the transaction, it will be in EOS where it will show their effort and uh, everyone where they contribute. So for me, in my point of view, it is similar to a second layer of Eden uh, without the, 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 the larger scope. So it is, uh, it's a good example of to show how the community of, uh, of an organization, how they will report back and how these transaction, I think there is a good uh, example to show that in, in this case, since there's a lot of small transaction will be happening between uh, the people uh, participating in that. It feels to me like a cultural movement where you, where the bees are trying to overcome narratives that have taken root that are negative and with positivity. And I really like that. Um, I wanted to direct a question to Sully um, so, Sully, would you be interested in um, joining up with Anas and the rest of the people in the EOSBs to um, pursue your goals through that org, or would, would you be interested in learning more about it at least? Oh, yeah, we only have one minute until this um, Zoom end. Yes, she she is willing to support on us. Uh, yeah, now and yeah, more than happy to do that. <laughs> she just wanted to give it a try to to, to join this uh, election today, and yeah, she is now ready to support him. Well, awesome, and I'm glad you did. It's worth trying, um, and also. You know, since these elections will be every three months, it's very likely the more you get involved, <laughs> the more likely it is that you'll be elected next round and, and things like that. So um, I wouldn't be too concerned about if, if we all choose a NOS to move to the next round, I wouldn't be too concerned about uh, having to wait a long time to potentially get a leadership position in the future. Thank you for saying that, and it was nice um, 
try today to yeah, do like this thing. Mm-hmm. She is very happy to have this chance today. Hey, Thank we're you. all a part of history here. So thanks everyone for coming.